Hi everybody, welcome to a Crochet Extras video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make some more letters. Now these letters are a part of our alphabet series where I've been trying to crochet all the letters in the alphabet for you guys and due to much request I'm going to be showing you how to make the letters G and the letters I in this video and to make these letters we're going to be using the same yarn and the same hook size we've been using for all our letters and that's a DK light worsted weight yarn so that's a yarn weight of a three and we're going to be using a three millimeter crochet hook and it's also a good idea to have a pair of scissors and a yarn needle for tying in those ends okay so let's begin <laughs> So the first letter we're going to start with is the letter G and to make the letter G we first of all need to chain 26. So we need to chain 26. Let's do a little slip knot and then chain 26. One, two, three, four, twenty-five and twenty-six. Okay so chain twenty-six. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do one double crochet in our second stitch from hook, our second chain from hook. So our second stitch from hook, we don't count the loop on our hook. There's our first chain there, and there's our second one there. So in there we're going to do a double crochet, this is an US terminology, as are all my patterns. So we yarn over and put our hook into that second stitch from hook, bring the yarn through, and do a double crochet as normal by pulling through two and pull through two. So we'll double crochet in there. Then in the next stitch we're going to do two double crochet. Just go into the next chain and do two double crochet. So we do the first one there, yarn over and go back into the same stitch and do another one. So you've got two in there. Okay. Then in the next stitch we do one double crochet. Let's go into the next stitch and do just one double crochet. Okay. Then in the next stitch we do two double crochet. Next stitch we do two. And this pattern is actually very similar to the letter C in one of my other videos. So it's virtually the same apart from the very end. So go back into the same stitch and do another one. So you've got two in there. Okay, two in there. Then in the next stitch we do one double crochet. Next stitch we do just the one double crochet. So just the one in there. Then we do two double crochet. So in the next stitch we do two double crochet in the same stitch. Just do one. Then yarn over and go back into the same stitch and do another one. Then in the next stitch we do one double crochet. By itself. Then in the next stitch we do two double crochet. So there's one and yarn over back into the same stitch and do another one. Okay so so far you should have four lots of two double crochet and one two three four lots of just one double crochet. Okay if that makes sense so you should have done one double crochet I think. Hang on let's get right in there. There's one double crochet hidden in there. And then we got our two double crochet so that's one set. Then one double crochet two double crochet, that's our second set, then one double crochet, two double crochet, that's our third set, then one double crochet, then two double crochet, that's our fourth set. So you should have four sets, you should have four lots of two double crochets and four lots of one double crochet, if that makes sense. Then what you want to do is one double crochet in the next eight stitches. So one double crochet in the next eight. Let's go into the next stitch, do a double crochet, that's one. In the next stitch, two, 
two, you see it getting quite curly now. The next stitch, three. Next stitch, four. Then the next stitch, five. Next stitch, six. stitch eight okay so you should have done one double crochet in the next eight so one two three four five six seven I haven't done eight it's all going wrong so next stitch eight so you should make sure you've got one double crochet in the next eight okay so we find our last two double crochet and one two three four five six seven eight so it's always worth checking sometimes I lose track on videos especially with these types of patterns where it's a lot of repeating so what we want to do next after you've done your one double crochet in the next eight we want to do two double crochet in the next stitch so two double crochet so we do one and back into the same stitch do another one Two double crochet then we do one double crochet in the next stitch just the one by itself like so then we do two double crochet in the next stitch two in there one and another one in the same stitch two in there then we do one double crochet in the next stitch, just the one, just the one, then two double crochet in the next stitch, one and another one in the same stitch, then one double crochet in the next stitch, so just the one, and then, after you've done just the one by itself, we want to do three double crochet in the next stitch. So you should have three stitches left. So in a third to last one, you want to do three double crochet. So go into the next stitch and do three double crochet. So we do one, yarn over, go back to the same stitch and do another one. Then we yarn over and go into the same stitch again and do a third. So you've got three in there. Okay, so you've got three. Then in the last two, we just do one double crochet. So one double crochet in the next stitch by itself. Then one double crochet in that very last stitch. Just that last one. It's currently getting in the way. <laughs> Okay, and there we finish. So what we're going to do is cut the yarn, just pull the yarn through to get that little knot, and then we just need to tie in our tail ends. So we get our yarn needle, and if you want to, you can actually curve the end rags. It's quite a square edge, whereas at the beginning it's a bit more rounded. So if you want to round it off all you need to do is take your tail end and just sew in to the opposite side and what that will do is that will just curve the edge round a little bit more okay and then just turn over and hide your tail end as neatly as you can I think what I'll have to do when I finish the alphabet is to write all of these down into a nice written version. Oops. So you don't get lost in all the repetitions and trim the excess. And then you can just trim the excess at the beginning as well. If you want to, you can sew that in if you want to, but for the sake of time, I shall just cut it. And there we have our finished G. So if I put this down, 
you can see it's very much like the C but the very end of it just curves round instead okay to make a G <laughs> okay so now we're going to move I hold it up a bit better so like I say in my other videos you can block this by pinning it into shape and just getting it wet and then it dry into shape or you can just iron it flat if you want to now when I designed this G I did wonder about adding a little bit this side but um, which you can do you can just chain one don't count that as a stitch and just work about three slip stitches across this side I turn this over you can just work a few slip stitches just to get you over to this side and then in the next stitch you could work um, a couple of half double crochets or a couple of double crochets and a couple of trebles in like two double crochets in there and two treble crochets in there and then fasten off and that will create just a little triangle on the edge um, but I found that it actually seems a bit more flush just to, if you're working with other letters just to keep it like this but there we go there's our letter G so now we're going to move on to the letter I okay so for the letter I it's gone very very sunny in here let's see if I can make the lighting a bit better there we go okay so moving on to the letter I what we're going to do for the letter I is we're going to chain 25 to begin this time so using the same yarn and the same hook size going to chain 25 so one two three 23 24 and 25 so chain 25 to begin then what we're going to do is we're going to do one double crochet in our second stitch from hook again so we don't count the loop on our hook there's our first stitch there's our second so we yarn over and putting our hook into that second stitch we do a double crochet like so then we're going to do one double crochet in the next stitch as well by itself okay one double crochet in the next stitch then what we're going to do is we're going to double crochet five stitches together now to double crochet five stitches together we yarn over and we go into the next stitch you might be familiar this with some of the other letters if you've done them bring the yarn through yarn over and pull through the first two as if doing a normal double crochet but we stop we yarn over and we go into our next stitch our second stitch bring the yarn through so put four loops then we yarn over and pull for the first two there then stop get some more yarn then we yarn over and go into the third stitch bring the yarn through yarn over pull for the first two loops again then stop then we yarn over and we go into the fourth stitch bring the yarn through and again we yarn over and pull for the first two only then stop then we yarn over and we go into our last stitch the fifth stitch and bring the yarn through but we still yarn over pull for the first two and then stop and then you should have six loops by the end and we yarn over and we pull through all six loops and that double crochets five stitches together it's quite a lot then what we want to do is one double crochet in the next ten stitches so we go into the next stitch one double crochet so it's one double crochet in the next ten one Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Last 
that's one ten. So that's one double crochet in the next ten, like so. Then what we want to do is we want to double crochet five stitches together again. So what we did just the same as before, we yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two, but stop, yarn over, go into the second stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two only, and then stop, yarn over, go into the third stitch, pull through. Yarn over, pull for the first two loops, and then stop. Yarn over, go into the fourth stitch, pull through. Yarn over, pull for the first two only, and stop. And the last one, yarn over, go into the fifth stitch, bring the yarn through. Still, yarn over, pull for the first two as we get our six loops. Yarn over, pull through all remaining loops. That double crochets five stitches together. And then what we want to do, we want to just do one double crochet in the last two stitches. So you should have two left. So in the next stitch we do a double crochet. Then in the very last one, the last stitch we do a double crochet as well. Okay. And what we've got so far is sort of like the left hand side of the, the eye. So what we want to do now is we want to slip stitch sort of down to the bottom. So this is the, whoops, not the camera, sorry about that. This is the, uh, the bottom of our eye, or the top, depending on which way. And what we want to do is we want to slip stitch around to this corner here. And to do that, the first thing we want to do is we want to work a slip stitch into our last double crochet. And you might be familiar with this technique from the other letter videos, but in that very last um, double crochet. You just want to put your hook right through the middle of it as neatly as you can. Just literally just poke your hook through the right for the middle of it and then just bring the yarn through and work a little slip stitch like so. And then work a slip stitch in the corner as neatly as you can as well. So that's got us to that corner from there. And keeping your tail end out of the way we then just need to work about three slip stitches just over to this corner. And so you kind of want to work back into those chains again. So go into the next chain, do a little slip stitch. Just do it as neatly as you can. You want to work about three, I think. One, two, and then get to that corner. There we go. And it helps to, fi re to find these um, chains again is to just when you work into them for the first time is just to go under one loop and it makes these a bit easier to see if you need to work into them again which we will do going back up this, this side. So now you should be at that corner there instead of over here we've gone right over to the other side and then what we want to do is chain three so one two three so chain three and then yarn over and work a double crochet in your second stitch from hook again. So don't count the loop on your hook. There's the first, there's the second. Go into that second one and do a double crochet. Okay. Then yarn over and do a double crochet in that last chain as well. So you should end up with two double crochets. The same as this little tail end here. And now what we want to do, if I hold it this way, you should be able to see we've got like the bottom bit of our eye. So we just need to slip stitch to join. So if you count about one, two, three chains up from your corner, one, two, three, about there, you put your hook into that chain and just work a little slip stitch. Then that will join the bottom of your eye back onto the main, the main bit. Okay, it starts to look a bit like a dog bone now. Then what we want to do is you want to work um, some slip stitches all the way up to the top. Okay, so slip stitch in the next chain and hopefully you can see your chains. Like I said, it helps to when you work into these for the first time when doing your double crochets, is to just work under one loop and it keeps the other loops free and easier to see these chains again when you need to work these slip stitches. So I'm just working some slip stitches back into these chains up to the top. So 
to do it as neatly as you can. at the top so that's actually that isn't the top there that's actually curving round to the left so when I say the top I mean this corner here which is technically in the middle of your five double crochets together uh, five stitches when you double crochet five stitches together that's right so I'm just going to go up to that corner like so so it looks a little bit like that and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to chain three again. One, two, three. Then I'm going to do a double crochet in my second stitch from hook. So don't count the loop on your hook. There's one, there's two. Second stitch, I'm going to work a double crochet. Then in the very last chain, I'm going to do a double crochet as well. Then what we want to do is we kind of want to twist that down, so it's currently facing in that direction. You want to twist your eye upwards, then again counting about three stitches, roughly one, two, three, so it's level with the other side. We just want to put our hook into there, through your little slip stitch, and do a slip stitch like so, just making sure it's level with the other side. Okay, then we can cut our yarn, pull that through, and then all we need to do is hide our tail ends, but if I put this down, you should be able to see the letter I. And I've made it more fancy than just having a straight line. It's nice to have a bit more of a sort of capital I like that but we're going to hide our tail ends now so let's get our yarn needle and just sew these in and probably want to just bring that over to the main high like that and then I'll come back through again and just hide your tail end as neatly as you can trim the excess scissors again blunt and with the other end let's sew this one in shall we just get that out of the way of the bottom then trim the excess of there and there we have our finished letter I and like I say you can pin this into place get it slightly wet and let it dry into shape so it doesn't curl up as much like that or you can just give it a little quick iron very quick and uh, not too hot and that will help keep it flat as well so if I bring this up to the camera you can see hopefully see the letter I can't hold this all fingers and thumbs today in front of this camera so there we go but there we go there's our finished tutorial for the letter G and the letter I and uh, yeah I hope you managed to follow along and sorry for the delay in getting these letters to you but uh, I will hopefully get the whole alphabet finished at some point and uh, yeah share all the letters with you <laughs> well thanks for watching guys I will see you soon for some more crochet fun. Cheers for watching. Bye. I think I really need to give these a bit of an iron now because all my other letters have gone so curly. I need to get the iron out and actually finally iron them. So. <laughs> Cheers guys. Bye. Bye.